this thing is heavy. Oh. Greetings with an LGR style intro for some reason. I guess I'm a blurb now. Today we are checking out my main daily driver gaming computer. Not the HP Omen over here. This thing in the middle of your screen in the Corsair 4000D Airflow. That's rather dusty here. So you already know what it is for this video based on the title. So I'm just going to cut right to it. But today I'm going to do something I never thought I'd be doing. And that is effectively the arc challenge, if you will. And this machine, I really don't know what to expect. And the hardware, I don't really know what to expect. But just a bit of a tangent here. I have always been interested in Intel's graphics, the Arc Alchemist series, since its inception, since the A380 was released. And as of course you guys know, I made a video about it on my channel and I checked it out. So fast forward, of course, now we have Intel's wonderful looking and whatnot, A770, which I actually have here, the 16 gig limited edition version of the card. And of course, before then, I had this thing here, which is the A750. It's just the ASRock Challenger version, but hey, I still have it. And so I've made my investment in ARC, shall we say, not necessarily directly to Intel, but more or less Newegg, so oops. But I digress. I have the cards, and I have them here in my inventory. And so I thought, kind of just like what Linus and Luke of LTT are doing, why don't I try out ARC and see how the end user experience is like? and to try out multiple different games from multiple different APIs and to experiment and see what it's really like to use Alchemist in its current form. Now, I will say, because obviously this is the type of channel that is going to be looking at multiple different pieces of hardware, uh, I'm just going to let you know this is my daily driver PC. So if you see other machines that are featured like this, for example, which I don't think I'm going to make a video on this anytime soon, but as just my reference point, uh, or laptop, or whatever the case might be. Trust me, I'm not scapegoating away from using Arc on my main PC. I'm just using it for that video, as it is. So, Arc is going to be in my machine, starting from tonight, November 29th, but let's just round out and let's say November 30th. And then, I'm going to use it, going through, at least hopefully anyway, up until December 30th, or 31st, whatever I decide, Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. In the grand scheme of things, it'll basically be a month. And then I'm going to go ahead and put back in my Radeon RX 6800 XT. And I may actually use that for some other videos. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Uh, but in any case, so the ARC A770 in this uh, particular instance is going to become the daily driver video card. So we'll see how it does. It's 16 gigs of VRAM, so I'm not losing any VRAM compared to my 6800 XT unlike if I were to use the A750, which I almost did, but then the A770 happened to turn up and it restocked, so I got lucky and I managed to score a limited edition version because I really like the Intel cooler look, so I was willing to pay the premium for that despite the issues of the architecture right now and the drivers. And so I'm going to put myself through probably pain and some suffering just for the sake of experimentation and also bug reports because I figure Intel probably could use them. So let's see how we do in a Ryzen 9 5900X gaming computer. Now, unrelated, of course, but this gives me the opportunity to do some maintenance on my computer, so dusting it, and I also need to check out why my RGB, for what it's worth, stopped working, so I gotta look into that. But regardless, I figured if it's software, it's software, if it's hardware, it's hardware, so I figured I'd check it out while I'm in here swapping out the video card. But just a slight overview of my rather messy build. So this is it. The system is based on an Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard with, again, an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU and 32 gigs of 3600 MHz CL16 DDR4 memory. And as you can see, there's the awfully sagging at this point in time, but um, yeah, it's there. Uh, Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 6800 XT video card with, of course, 16 gigs of GDDR6. It has a 500 gig NVMe SSD as the boot drive, and I believe it's sitting under that heatsink down there, as well as a four terabyte storage drive for all of my games and other data. And one thing I'm probably gonna do while I'm in here is I'm gonna add another SSD 
I just happen to have a SATA SSD that I'm not currently using. It's a 500 gig. And so what I was thinking about was using that for high priority games or stuff that I use more frequently from my Steam library. So I might as well put those on the SSD and save some room on my hard drive. So that way I don't necessarily have so much bloat on my system, which my system desperately needs a reload anyway. So besides the point, uh, I'm gonna do that while I'm in here off camera, of course, just so that way I have a nice upgrade. Not sponsored, but I have my fix a toolkit here, the lids in the house. And we're gonna go ahead and take this video card out. Now, I don't know how the video is gonna look. I have it propped up against the A750 box since I don't have a tripod, so it is what it is. It's not, again, a serious video, so it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out of here. Now, one thing that is kind of funny, uh, the A770 is gonna use an eight and a six pin, whereas this uses dual eight pins, so. I guess I am theoretically downgrading, even though I'm really not, but whatever. All right, the beast is out, the old 6800 XT, but was without some wonderful, lovely quirk. So yeah, kind of bunged up that slot right there for the uh, eject tab. But uh, now that a little duct tape won't fix, yes, I know I'm going to go that level because I don't really care about this motherboard. It's a hunk of junk, and I would love a USB-C header, Asus. Anyways, my rant aside, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix that up or take that thing out. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it, but it is going to be A770 time here in just a moment once I take care of everything else. All right, skipping ahead a bit, I'm just going to rush this through because there's nothing much to say, really. Primary thing is the A770 is now installed and, well, connected. I also connected the RGB kind of like controller header thing there, and I connected it to USB header on the motherboard. And I also got my SATA SSD in there. And I hope, I'm going to, you know, hope that it is. I've reseeded all the connections for my fans, so I hope that those will come back. No guarantees. It's just the rear fan and then the two fronts. So if they don't come back in RGB fashion, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. It just would have been nice to have, not a need to have, because I don't really care about RGB. Like I said, this thing sits in a corner. But, you know, I paid for that feature. I'm going to friggin' use it. <laughs> so whatever. Anyway, so this thing is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and button it back up and take it back in my room and hook it back up. Okay, I normally don't get excited for things like this because I don't care about lighting and such. Well, I mean, I do for a little bit, but then I don't really care after that. But, uh... I'm making an exception for this, so let's juice this thing up. Ooh, look at that. Get the wide angle in on that. Now that, you know, but despite the flaring, because it was cold out, so, you know, obviously this is humid, but you have to admit, that light bar is freaking sexy. If I bump the camera on my monitor. No, seriously, that thing is a gorgeous card, in my opinion. Obviously, you're allowed your own opinion. But I think that's a really sexy card. <laughs> it's lighting. Uh, anyways, time to, well, find out that my mouse fell behind the thing and now I gotta connect that, so whatever. I'll do that off camera. I'm gonna also load the drivers. All right, and there we go. Drivers are installed. Now, one thing I'm not looking forward to when I turn on my computer every single time, at least for the next month, is gonna be whenever it decides it wants to rear its ugly head here. There it is. <laughs> this. So I'm probably going to have to go turn that off because I don't want that popping up every single time. But I suppose the thing with art control, at least for the time being, is you're going to have to press yes on that every single time you boot your computer in order to get the performance overlay. Because as far as I know, MSI Afterburner still doesn't work properly with it. So that's always fun. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes on this and then uh, go from there because probably Discord's going to pop up in the background and I'd rather not show my personal Discord for obvious reasons. So, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, this is what I get to live with is this wonderful program. Now, in a previous clip, which I already deleted, I had a massive pop-up telling me I had so many games detected. Well, that's cool. Um, so whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, I got like a ton of things that even though they don't have proper icons necessarily... I have a bunch of games, so we're going to see how well that works. And I think, yep, that's working. So GP temperature, 44 degrees. I just knocked something over. Of course I did. So yeah, that's going to be ready to go. And we'll see how it does. I'm going to actually get acquainted with this thing for the next month and see what its quirks and features are like. No game samples here. 
you know, it's just going to be playing games. Uh, when I think it's necessary, I'll see if I can record some stuff, but otherwise you'll just have to wait for a later video when I give you all an update as to, well, me playing games on the ARC A770, as well as the A750. I'm going to stick that in my AM5 PC, I think, because I figure, well, I'm going to use that machine as well. And I think I might even hook it up to my TV just for the sake of gaming at like 4K or whatever. Although, theoretically, I should be doing it on the A770, but it's hooked up to a 1440p 144Hz uh, Samsung Odyssey G5 display. So that's probably more than good enough to get the job done. <laughs> so and that's going to be it for this video. Can't really think of anything much else to say or to add to this. So with that, well, I'll see you all in a month. So thank you all for watching. And well, hopefully not have a destroyed computer by the end of this. Yeah.